Hey, welcome to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. If you watched the last couple videos on this car, we went and delivered my grandpa's 42 Ford to him and picked up, oh, Granny, don't pee in the floor again. Anyway, <laughs> we went to my grandpa's house and delivered his 42 Ford to him and picked up this car, his 1928 Model A two-door sedan. He bought this car in 1977, and it's actually been parked since uh, about 2005, so about 17 years it's been parked. In the last video of this car, we got it running, and we drove it around the yard a little bit, and now we're going to work, get started on changing the oil, you know, greasing some stuff, and cleaning this car up in this video, and trying to get it ready to get back out on the road. So here you go, guys. This is proof. This, to my knowledge, is one of the last times I probably rode in this car before we got it running again in the last video. So in the yellow there is me as a newborn baby. So uh, this was about, this would have been 1986. So there you go. There's mom, dad, my sister, and me in this car, old timers day at church. So there you go. There's a picture of uh, me with this exact car. So this thing doesn't even have an oil filter, but we're gonna go ahead and change the oil in it because if you watched the other video, the distributor was very rusty when we pulled it up out of the engine, which really doesn't make sense because this car has been parked inside since the 80s. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the oil now, see what it looks like, uh, so we don't have any trash in there hurting any of the bearings or anything like that. Right, Ralphie? Yeah. This thing does not have as big of a drain plug as the, uh, 42 Ford or the or the two end tractor did. This is a kind of normal size drain plug. Well, let's see what our oil looks like in here. If it's nasty or not. Oh, uh oh, that's never a good sign. This is like the third vehicle on this channel that we have drained the oil, and it's come out like this. Ooh. Let me stick a screwdriver up in there. Oh, there's a big clump. There's something right inside there stopping me from going in any farther. It's built into it, it looks like. Got some clumps in there coming out. Well, it's finally thinning out there. Man, that was a mess at first. It looked like that old Ford F-150 we did last year. That had the worst uh, oil I've ever seen in it. Go back and watch that video. I never showed it in the other video, but we did check the coolant in this thing. And my grandpa has kept it checked over the years, but it looks like we need to add a little bit now. We'll probably end up pushing this back out, but I'm gonna put some in it anyway. He thinks I made that just for him. Yeah, that's perfect for you, Rocky. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to touch your horns. He don't like his horns touching. So, since this goes right down the crankcase, me and Rocky, apparently, we're gonna pour some paint thinner down in it because that's the only thing we have around here. I would try like probably kerosene or something, but I don't have any. So once he gets out of the way, I wanna pour some of this down there and try to actually uh, break loose some of that sludge in the bottom of this. Now we did put the drain plug back in this thing. So we're gonna let it sit in the bottom of the pan for a little bit. Go ahead and grease. I mean, is this the water pump? I'm assuming it's the water pump bearing I'm greasing here. What do you think, Rock? Keep going. Something this old, you probably should see some oil start squirting out at some point. Yeah, I see it. See it start pushing out right there? Yeah. Pushed a little bit out right there. That's plenty. I don't think I've ever had a steering box that had a grease fitting. This thing has a grease fitting. That's like the shaft that comes out to steer it. I think this is called the kingpins. I believe this is what that's called. Some of these fittings are not taking grease as good as the other ones are. Put the new one in. Take the 
cap off of it. This guy screws back in here. And then you push this guy back in there. Then you're ready to go again. You can see this grease better. Okay, so we got grease fittings on the side of the transmission here for the clutch and brake and everything, looks like. So you can grease the outer wheel bearing from here? I've never had a car like that, if that's what this is. Man, was there a hundred grease fittings on this thing? Go ahead and check the transmission fluid level. It didn't pour out. Give it a little squeeze, Robbie. I'm going. How low is it? Can you see? It was. Uh, pretty low? Yeah, pretty low. How much more can it take? Oh. It must have been. Is it right. full? Yeah. Well, it was pretty low on transmission fluid. Papa must not have checked it lately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that other hay ring and put it on some metal. Don't touch yourself with it. Take it. We're gonna take. We're it. back here checking the rear end now. Oh, uh, looks like it's low too. If you're wondering, this is not Lucas Oil. This is a Lucas Oil jug, and I just buy the gear oil in a gallon and put it in these because, you know, saves me some money. It was probably a pint low or something. This one wasn't that bad. Well, we've let it sit in here for about an hour or so. And let's uh, dump this out now and see what comes out. Well, it's pretty dark there at first. So hopefully that'll break loose some of that sludge and maybe we flush some of it out. Okay, hit the brake pedal. So guys, this is how the brakes work. You got this shaft under here that goes across and you have these little, whatever, turnbuckles and rods just like a go-kart would have. And this rod right here goes to the rear and that one goes to the front. Each one is adjustable so you could, you know, get them all even if you worked on enough. Well, we found this oil the other day at Lowe's. It's a 15W40 diesel oil. I always like to run diesel oil. I've ran that since, I don't know, 20 years ago. I started running uh, Rotella in my turbo coupe because a mechanic told me to. So this was only like 10 bucks for a gallon and we're cheap. So that's what we're doing. Oh Lord, look at that. Man, that is not good. Looks like there's grease in there, but golly, it's rusty on the end. We're gonna have to take that nut off and clean all that up. It. Looks better than the other side. Yeah, it's a little better. Look at him. Look over there. It's after Ralphie's cereal. Ralphie's gonna be so mad. He's gonna get that cereal. Give me that. Eat your bag. Pretty crusty. Does this have like traditional wheel, wheel bearings like a normal vehicle? Yeah, it does. Your old brakes and your inner wheel bearing. Looks like the shoes are still in good shape. Dude, that grease is so hard. Look, I know you can't feel that, but I'm pushing with like way too much force to try to break that loose. Normally this would be completely soft to get off here. Don't look at the axle grease. Why do you like axle grease? Quit. It's not good for you. Ugh. That's, look how that's kind of separated. This is really gooey. And I bet what's on the axle stub is really hard. Yep. It's way harder than what it should be. Yeah, I'm gonna get all of this out. It's hard, it's got hard spots in it, it's chunky. I wish you guys could feel how hard this is. It feels like you're hitting metal and then when you push on it, it gives way. We got those 
bearing race is all cleaned out inside that hub. I got the outer bearing and washer and nut cleaned up so we can put these back together. All right, we got our new wheel bearing grease here. I'll try not to get it in the drum. That'd be bad, wouldn't it? Brakes won't work anymore. I always overdo it with the grease. Uh, I probably put way too much on them, but I figure better to have too much than not enough. I'm gonna pack a little bit of grease right here. Just to make sure we got enough. She won't have to be greased for a long time. Oh, Just try to pick the weight up to keep it centered on there and you'll feel it start. It? No, you'll feel it start getting on the shoes and you'll have to like wiggle it back and forth on the shoes. There you go. Is that it? Uh, no. Oh. Oh. There you go. I think you got it now. Hey, good job. Oh yeah, pack it. What I do is I snug these up uh, back them off just a little bit because you, you'd rather it be a little bit loose than too tight. Well, now we should be good for the road, I believe. We got everything greased on here, got our oil changed, and uh, should be good. So, fuel on, choke pulled, give this like a turn out. Um, Retard ignition, give it just a little bit of throttle, ignition on, and starter button with my foot. Oh, I should have gave it some more timing. mechanically that I don't like is we set this thing just by pointing it at the number one cylinder so we have no idea where the timing is and it seems like full retard is way too much retard you know you don't want too much retard in your life so I think we need to give it a little bit of advance on the rotor we don't want everybody down at the local cruise tonight See all them donkeys we're working with under there. All right, I think we got all the mechanical stuff done we're gonna do for now. Uh, I'm gonna take this thing outside and give it its first wash in 17 years. To, to figure out all the little stuff you'll it'll start running bad and you'll be like oh i didn't crank this in a little bit it's really weird to get used to driving this thing when you're used to a modern car or even like a 60s car this is a lot different of course you're up there <laughs> so some of this thing is primered and some of it is i guess you know it's probably had a repaint i'm sure at some point in its life it's very dusty from being in my grandpa's uh, garage at his house there. This may or may not have got on there when I burned the back casing off the Honda Scrambler. Uh, not really much to clean up on the inside. This thing, we're going to mainly focus on the outside. And we, we have no roof either, so it shouldn't take too long to clean this thing up. What the heck is that? I guess that's some sort of sealer. Oh, yeah, our light's still on. I don't know why that thing stays on. 
but we're gonna wash this thing up see if we can get it ready you know give it the old craigslist shine up here see how much better it looks you can see that it's had some repair work done right there it's got primered same thing here so not everything's gonna be shiny black paint when we get done looks like the grill shell's been primered well let's get to it right guys you sitting in your chair rocky i'm gonna use some dawn dishwashing liquid on this one because you know i don't have no really great paint job on i don't like to use dawn if we're working on something with a really good paint job Just rinsing it off ought to help a whole lot. Get a bunch of dust on that visor. Yeah, all that. <laughs> I get that off there before Grandma sees that. Looks like that's some silicone in there. It's a little bit cold outside to be doing this, but I don't really have any other option. required here. Pebbles came to join us. Your face is turning so black. It's changing colors on us. You being a good goat today, Pebbles? I like that old painted on pin stripe. That's pretty neat. A lot better than the old vinyl stick-on stuff they do nowadays. I wonder if it was like a student or a teacher that drove this thing to uh, high school, Muskogee High School in 1967. Rocky, I know you've won a lot of fights in your in your mo movie history, but you might not want to take her on. She's out of your weight class, Rocky. I know you beat the Russian, but she's pretty big. Oh. <laughs> no. Alright. You like driving this thing? Yeah. Yeah. A lot different than this than driving something newer. having to clean you know my scuds out and stuff <laughs> not really clean something that's already just dusty you know where is it Pebbles? i don't know what the time was i have to go see you know, mall teas were only available in black but big cars were available i think three or four different colors or only available in black. You hear how, how thick those are when you sell them? They're way thicker than like a new car is. Thick in the. You think that's bulletproof? <laughs> I'm kind of wondering about these bumpers. How well they'll clean up with some steel wool. I think it's starting to peel though. Not much you can do once they start peeling. Yeah, see that right there? I don't think there's any hope for getting all that off there. It's just the chrome's not there to shine up anymore. This top bar here is doing better than the bottom one. It's not quite as rusty.
Like it must have sat in the dirt for a long time. That thing really needs to be sandblasted. Well, I got the dirt off of her. You guys probably saw before when Rocky was trying to eat this. It's got a little bit of rust right there that needs to be patched up. And, uh, you know, it's got the primer spots we were talking about. But pretty, the paint's in decent shape. I mean, considering how old this car is. Uh, I'm a body man, so I would never repaint it. That's just how we roll. You don't want to do body work something uh, after you do it all day. I think I'm going to pull it in the shop and try to take a razor blade and take some of these drips off the windows because whatever that tar is around the windows keeps uh, running down through it when it's got hot, I guess. Like some of it's even dripped on here. So I think I'm going to bring it in the shop and take a razor blade of that. Wifey, do yeah. you think you can drive this thing? Absolutely. I was very confident. I can drive anything. You've never drove it before. It'll be fine. You didn't get to drive in the last video. It'll be fine. All right. Well, let me get in there and we'll do it. Okay. You better watch out, Rocky. Mama's driving. You better get out of the way. You know how she drives? All right. The starter button is up there. So you have to push it and push it this? hard. No, no. That's your throttle. Oh, it's up there. The gas? That's your gas wheel. All right. Okay. Try it again. Yeah. Oh, I didn't turn the fuel on again. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> okay. Well, you got that much done. Put your foot on the brake. I'm going to take the emergency brake off. Okay. All right. To the left and up is reverse. No, no, up. Funny, you like push in That's on. That's crazy. So it's, many buttons. It's crazy. To, and then you gotta turn all this fuel off because it'll flood itself out. You know. Well, it's quite a bit different than driving like a '60s, '70s, '80s car. Isn't it's it? very complicated. It is, and all the throttle, especially the starting process, is the hardest thing for me because I'm not used to having to do so many things to start it. I mean, I'm used to like mechanical chokes, like the Falcon has, but not yeah. not this many things. Not timing. And throw it. Like, needs two people to start it. Yeah, and a push button starter on the floor. It's it's kind of crazy all the stuff you had to do back then. Yeah, it's different. Good job. High five. I told you I could drive it. <laughs> I've got a brand new razor blade here. <laughs> I guess they're all. I thought they were all on that. Okay, side. I've got a brand new razor blade here. I'm hoping that this takes this off. Oh yeah, that's actually way easier than I thought it would be to get this off of here. Yeah, that's super easy, actually. Hard to focus on that because it's not picking up on the glass. Right, Rocky? He's a good helper. I don't know what that stuff is. It's like some sort of tar. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's this guy back on the table again. Going through all my tools for me. Rocky, get down. Oh. 
Come on, Rocky. It's really bad on this side. It must have just got hot. Now, like I said, this thing sat in a tobacco barn, and I don't know if you've been in a tobacco barn in the middle of the summer, but uh, it's, it's about the hottest place on earth. Come on, Rocky. He just jumped over to another table. At least it's super easy to get off here. Some people will be tempted to take stuff like this off, but the way I am, if a car has something like that, I never get rid of it. I would leave that on there forever. I mean, I just like stuff like that on old cars. Rocky, do you think it's ready to go for a drive now? I mean, it's ready as if it's ever gonna be, right? Are oh, you gonna jump up on me? I don't have any food for you. Can't eat a razor blade. I know some of you guys have been missing this car on the channel. I promise I've been driving the car. I just haven't had time to work on it with these other projects. We have big plans for this car. We're not selling it. We actually have some parts here, but I'm waiting on some other parts. So hopefully soon you'll get a video of the 63 and a half Falcon Futura. Well, I guess we're gonna take this thing for a drive now, but I just don't feel right driving it dressed like this well this is more like it huh that's more of playing the part right the right era it's the best i had around here still got my flops on though you can't you know they probably had flops back then you know they had rc colas all right you guys ready to go yeah take a ride like it's 100 years ago again yeah. this is the first time this car has been on the road in 17 years and it's only got 28,000 miles on it. Cold in here. 
with no roof. We got a chicken wire roof. And it's like, what, 40 degrees outside? think about it did you enjoy driving something this old it could be better the only stuff I've ever rode in that was this old had modern driveline and I, I really had no experience driving through. what is he doing <laughs> get off the car Granny's gonna kill you well guys this went pretty good we got all our maintenance done. We got it washed up and cleaned up. We got our first test drive out on the road in. I think we got a square casing or two on this thing. It uh, it was very bouncy for sure, wasn't it, guys? Yeah. But you know what we do around here? Let's pop RC Cola. Squeezy's gonna try it for the first time. No, push down. There you go. <laughs> Keep going. You gotta commit. 
Hey, it's just like one of those swings out over the river. You just got to commit to that thing. And we're getting super fancy around here. Bourbon barbecue. Who knew it even existed? I didn't know. Rocky, did you know? But we got this at the local Walmart and we haven't even tried it yet. Check out our second channel, Sleeper Dude 2, the number two. Can I get it right this time? The number two after Sleeper Dude. And you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. And remember, pour one out for your homies. We'll definitely have more videos of this car, at least one more video of this car. Ugh, you have to try it first. Come on now. Oh, here. There you go. You like them too? Is that a good new flavor for you? And uh, look below. We got merchandise, or you can click on my username, click on the store button, or you can click on the playlist button. The playlist button has all my videos organized in their own little groups, my own projects. So that's a good way to check us out. That's amazing. Like, where's that been my whole life? That's absolutely good. This really says a lot about my parents. that They never introduced me to this. Y'all should have done a better job, okay? And guys, I hate to say this, but if you please subscribe, I always didn't ever say this in the videos, but only 14% of you guys are subscribed to us. So if you want to see more content like this, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, punch in, put it in first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, let's go put her back in the garage. Here you go. Turn the corner. Man, what a great car. 